Let's go over what we see on our main objective boards. Our main objectives are each of our groups, with the key results being the items underneath. The columns that we have, we have our drivers and our contributors. We have our progress. Are we on target, at caution, at risk, or haven't we started yet? Our priorities, high, medium, and low, or there is no priority. Our department. Each department has a board and corresponding drop-down label. Our department status, which is mirrored from the department board, where we can easily track and see where each of our initiatives are standing for that particular key result. For example, here we have two out of three on target and one is at caution. If we click on it, we can see what is at caution. And of course, we can drill down into that to see exactly who the owner is, the contributors, and why it's in caution. We can then write an update and find out from that team why it's not being driven on time. We have our targets and our actuals, which are being pulled from the um, departmental boards. We have our type. This type corresponds to the target. For example, if we have a target of a million, it's a number. We also have percentages, averages, days, and this can be amended according to your needs. We have our end of quarter assessment. We have on track, needs focus, complete, requires support and not assessed, as well as our completion date. At the end of every quarter, we can, before the quarter ends, we can then go and have a look at each of our objectives and see where they stand from the departmental status and decide which of these key results need to have more focus or require support. If we choose to use require support, we then get an update, which allows us to see what is what are the issues, so what, what is holding up this KPI, and now what, steps to get this done. We can then tag a team member and find out from them where this stands. As you can see here, I'm tagging a team member and asking him, please let me know. He can then respond to me where the issues are on this key result. And using that, we can follow up and try and keep this key result on target. So that's our main objectives board. What we want to know is how do we track our main objectives using these key results and then also have them in different departmental boards without having to work too hard. If we go to our management board, we can see here that we have a group that says secure an award industry at a conference with the initiatives that we need to get to those. As you can see, this is our first group. But let's add another key result that we want um, our management to keep in track of. So for example, we want to become the leading company in our sector our management needs to have a key result that says add more initiatives to gain momentum. As soon as I add this key result, choose who the driver will be and the department, in our case management, we can then Fill in all the rest of the information. Now, if we go to the management board, we will see that a new group has been opened up for us. Add more initiatives to gain momentum. Here, the management then break down that initiatives. What do we need to do to gain more momentum? Hire more staff, for example. We can choose our drivers and contributors, where we stand, our actual and our time frame. Now the time frame here is very important. This allows us reporting, that we can break down the reporting into quarters or annual. And then shortly I'll show you our dashboard and you'll see what I mean by that. So here we choose our time frame. We don't necessarily have a timeline for this, but we do have a time frame. We know we want to get this done in quarter one. And let's choose on target because we have started hiring more staff. When we go back to our company objective boards, you can see that automatically the initiative that I've added, hire more staff, has been connected to the key result of add more initiatives to gain momentum. So this is the beauty of our solution. Basically, we call it our auto connect, and this is a multi-level solution. When you add an item to one board use, and using a drop-down um, column, you can connect more than one board 
to this item. That item then gets opened up as a new group in the main board and the items that are added underneath this group are automatically added back up to the main board. If we want to, we can then break this down even further into teams, in, from teams into people, multi-levels, it's never ending. From here, let's jump into our dashboard. As you can see, we have the option of creating many, many, many charts and following many, many um, targets where we stand. For example, our annual targets. Remember those drop down labels I mentioned? Here we go. We have our annual targets where they stand with regards to um, their status, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. At a glance of an eye, I can see that in Q4, I already have something at risk. When I click on that, I can then automatically see that we haven't found someone to vote for the company to secure an, ex an industry conference award in the management board. If I need to find out what is happening with this, I can then write an update and find out from the team member who is in charge of this initiative, why it's at risk and why it's being delayed. I hope this example has given you an idea of what our solution can do. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.